have another question from our audience. Ma'am, where are you from? I'm from Paramus, New, Jer New Jersey. Yeah, yeah, Northern yeah, Jersey. sure, sure. Thank you for answering this question. Taking now, let me ask you this. I, I know that New Jersey is called the Garden State. Is that a garden part? Not really. Yeah. It's a so, mall part. <laughs> yeah. New Jersey has to figure out a way to stop covering up the garden part because parts of New Jersey are so beautiful, yeah. but you just don't see it from New York skyline. That's I all. know. <laughs> True. So um, what you got there? Uh, um, attacking the problem of the lack of uh, faith in the Eucharist, mm -hmm. the USCCB has done a uh, Eucharistic revival for the next right. three years. Right. How would you suggest that the believers could participate in this? Yep, perfect. One of the things, uh, well, again, that I wrote that book. That, that book would be a help, and there are other books on the Eucharist by which people can take a look and set up Bible studies to teach about the sacred Eucharist. That would be, you know, have in your homes and in your parishes and in your schools and adult education. That's one of the things they want. And I lay out the two aspects of the Eucharist that have been consistent teaching of the church from Christ forward. Namely, this is the real presence of Christ, body, blood, soul, and divinity, and it's a sacrificial nature. That would be the, the things I want to lay out and see it from Scripture. And instead of us arguing with them, let them confront the words of Jesus Christ. Take a look at what our Lord taught. It's not whether you agree with me. What's important is that you agree with him and see what he says about the Eucharist. That's what matters. And let that be the confrontation in their own, to their own faith and see how important that is. Okay? Sir, 